Hello, and we're back for a little bit more of the Grimwalkers, our fairy tales walking through the Yandering Lands. Um, we have cleared out this entire area of map, and we're just beginning Chapter 3. We haven't actually gotten into the, um, the bulk of Chapter 3 stuff yet, because last time, the very beginning of it, we were just chasing opportunities and recruiting someone new, so we now have our Frog Prince, and we have two parties to run around. One of them is already set to explore Guryo's Hills, the other I think I'll send back to go ahead and open up a forestry. Um, Heartwoods and Hides, Heartwoods, or Heartwoods and Spell Threads. I'm kind of thinking that one. So I'm going to send the... Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to send that group over, because I've got a bit of a mix of uh, capabilities, I suppose. Mm. Come to think of it, my weakest are now in combat, or at least the largest number of weak ones. Eee, let's, um... Too late now, let's see how it goes. Zone and forge. Okay, guys. Time to earn your stripes. What was the lady's name we're supposed to keep an eye out for? If I could do a ribbity voice, I would. Ina, I think. Ina. Oh, this is an opportunity for some thunder arms, and I get to pick who to put it on if I want to. From what I know of hill folk, they normally spread themselves out over the landscape. Maybe they secretly can't stand each other. Who knows? These aren't exactly normal times, though. And her wife seemed concerned, anyway. Of course she is. Olina seems distracted, starts spending more and more time out in the ruins, watching the goats, or so she says. I'd be concerned too. Is that the story? Sometimes she wouldn't even come home at night. The lady seems at a loss. Sounded like they needed better communication, I said. Heck of thing to say. How do you get people to tell you these things? Sit still for five minutes is all. People have all sorts of stuff twisted up inside them. Clouds grow like lichen over the sky. They pick their way through the building bones until a shout rings out from close by. I like building bones for ruins. That's mmm. A little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that Kenning influence, I suppose. Come on, come on! Up the hill, a woman stands against a monument. Her gaze darts between the sky. Come on! And the shadows of approaching Thrixel. Get around her quickly, or let's sneak in while she's got their attention. Let's get around her. The Grimwalkers rushes towards the monument. Yeah, it works better when your thing isn't plural on its own. The Grimwalkers rush towards the monument. There we go. We can edit this. We go. Okay, what have I got? Two foe cards on turn three, and some of those. Okay. Let's do this thing. Oh, they are grouped over there. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Now, I think... I think Jack's the one that enters, and I can't quite hit them. I can get to about there and see if he goes Paladin. There we go. That pretty much covers approach. You will... Let's go ahead and deal with things back there real quick. Discus. I hate those. Oh, you. I hate them so much. Okay. Honestly, the more we can take out right away, the better. <clears throat> we could be in trouble! You know, um, just stay there. Mmm. That's bad. Because that was against warding. He doesn't have warding. He has shield. He has armor. Ooh, yep, they burrow. Okay, only one hit. That's good, that's good. Can she not slam him? Why can't, why can't Ina slam? Why? Why? Why can't? Why? Root club knocking the foe to another tile. Why is she not able to hit them from right? What's going on there? Um, I have no idea. I'm just gonna get her out of the middle of all of that and. Uh, why? Wh what? What the hell? Okay, fine. Um, I guess you're not doing anything. Hopefully 
finish that. Mm, no stunt, that's a shame. That is a fan shame. Okay, I have 10 HP until next turn. Let's put that on Jack. I have 10 HP, a discus. Um, can't hit anybody with it, unfortunately. We're gonna interfuse and let's do a wild grasp, perhaps. Yes. Pinden. Okay. Oh, you do not do much damage! Oh, that's not good. Hmm. This may have been a mistake. Yeah, this may have been a... Hmm. This may have been a mistake. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. I'm gonna have you wall because you can't seem to do anything. Slam. Knock back. Rock shield again, because oh my god, you need that temp HP. And... Ah... Uh, just want to do discus, because it might bounce. I'm going to have to introduce with some more rocks in order to keep the rock shield next turn. Okay, you can't shoot that, it's too close. You can, however, move over here, shield up with him, and then shoot. Oh, good stunt. Unfortunately, you don't have any elemental weapons for added effects. Mmm, made that one big. Okay, we gotta take that bard out. Hell. Okay. Can you actually hit them now? Thank you. What was up with the beginning of this fight? I don't even know. Good, okay. Really, I need to... Interfuse with... Something stone real quick. Get that rock shield back. And... I think I can splinter blast. Ah, the bard is really the problem, but you know what, fine. We can at least take that one down. Okay, and shoot him. Just shoot him. Okay. Good, you dodged it. You had 10 HP anyway. Um, okay. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, you... Mm, just wall. Just wall. You move up. Hit him. Good. And you... Just no... No, okay, I'm just gonna have to move up. And I'm just gonna assume that this is going to be enough. Got him. Okay. Well, we survived. I fully thought that I was gonna lose at least one of you guys. Um <laughs> they're not powerful. Okay. I can paladin every turn, I can battle dance, which is excellent hardiness. Mm -er. You got into some mess there. What's your health? Nine? Thirty percent? Ah, ha, ha. Maybe. Just plink up that little bit. Or inspiration. Um. Honestly, I kind of want Paladin upgrade. Okay, so Snow White, Bronzehorn, Elementalist. Doesn't burn out. Sprinkler Salvo, Infernal Rain. Or upgrade to Mithweaver, right? I haven't actually gotten to use that very much because it's all like fabrics and books. However, I kind of like it for thematic reasons. I'm gonna go ahead and take the upgrade and just hope. That's all I got. We've got a tier 1 mace. That is bonus damage to Morthoggy, which we don't have in this. Alright. I'm just gonna make it your side weapon and you'll probably end up just using it unless I swap you back to the mace. Distant thunder. The clouds begin to disperse, and Brendan regards the woman who is now rubbing her arms and staring at the ground. Nina? Do I know you? Your wife sends her regards. Ah. So what's the story? Watching the goats? The goats do like it here. They climb the ruins. But that's not... When the hills began to get more dangerous, I thought it might be time to finally use the storm swell here. This? What is it? Surprised you haven't heard of it. 
This thing's been on the family land forever. Uncle said it was Kioran. We had stories that it could... This is going to sound crazy, but that it could give you power. And my family are abysmal storytellers, see? Terrible imaginations. So I thought, maybe they're not just stories. Maybe I could, you know, protect the goats. And my wife, my Leorthsha, if I could get a hold of that power. It takes research, some old family recipes, and time. Lots of time to get a storm well to give up its secrets. I didn't want to tell Leorsha. Rather, she came up with a story of her own. Better than the story of a goat herd trying to wear a hat two sizes too big for her. It's a shame, though. I needed maybe one more good storm. The clouds looked promising today, and I thought I could finish the process before the monsters got here. No such luck. It was silly now that I've seen what fighting really is. I'm not cut out for it. Glad I never told Lorsha. So now you're going to count my goats and go home? Yeah. Unless one of you wants it. It's possible. Make the beasts pay good next time. The sky's clearing now, but if you want to take me up on it, come back sometime. Ask Farina, Leorsha too. We'll feed you, put you up, give you otherworldly powers. Hills folk hospitality, you know. And off she goes. So, I can outright choose which character to potentially give that power to. Out of those that I have right now, um, you've got, yeah, you've got fire all over. Though I could do a fire and lightning. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I could but I kind of want to scatter it out a little bit more. Um, not really. Honestly, it's no way it could be kind of funny. I have no reason, but Jack, Jack, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking kind of Jack for that one. Um, let's go ahead and have Jack do that. In the meantime, we'll have the other two secure the forge. Oh good, Brendan and Snow White don't like each other. Oh come on, Snow White, you like all the forest animals, what's wrong with a frog? Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna save my legacy points, I'm just gonna accept that things are getting tough- mm, Nope, I'm cancelling that one, I hate them. Things are getting tougher. Okay, there we go, the storm well. Ina and Lorsha welcome Jack and stuff him full of bristleberry pie and goat cheese while they waited for a storm to roll in. So there's no Jill, but Jack's going up a hill right now. It's it's not exactly a pail of water, but there is a well. <laughs> Ina tinkered with the top of the storm well. Careful. She's like she's been doing this forever. And it starts coming down. Wonderful. Good sign. Almost there. You call us when you're ready. So what did you give up? For? The whole heroing. You know, like your goats or your spouse, to name examples at random. Oh. I think we had some talks. Plausible deniability. What? Nothing. There's a Jack out there in another time who maybe got some goats and a wife. Maybe he was even happy. I'll never know his story, but this one's mine. Jack's musings are sharply interrupted. That's dangerous. Ina! Yep. She's okay! It's been a long flower to bloom, but it's quite pretty now, isn't it? The storm well fills with light, or water, or both. It swirls and spills over the sides. I should have asked this before, but am I gonna have to fight something? Probably not. What happens now, then? Well, um, that wasn't in the stories. The ancient voices of the Tempest aren't telling you? Take a drink, transform head, reach in, arm, step in, leg. I did just get a great axe. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the head. Jack draws his face close to the water. Tiny flashes within to hold its gaze. Suddenly it's obvious what he's supposed to do. Gulp. And fwing! How, um... How'd it taste? A little metallic. Not great, honestly. Jack Giant Killer. Go up to the clouds and seize the storm. You both Okay. All right, let's go ahead and add him to the research site to make that go a little faster. It looks like we're about to finish that. Very good. 
Okay, and I'm gonna have those three come over here and scout out that. Once they're finished here, I'm gonna build a pass. Because, yeah, we're gonna need to get through. Okay, got some ingots and pauldrons of divinity with the... Uh, I've already got potency on those. I believe she's got something that does potency. Oh, warding! Not potency, warding! Dum-dum! I was just complaining about how he didn't have any warding. I'm gonna slap those on him. Okay, mountain rage. Let's build a pass right there. You three, go ahead while they explore up there. This is when it's nice to have why it's nice to have two teams running around. Sure, you've got less manpower in the actual fights and the actual like work, but uh, you can technically get two things done at once. Turtles! Who's getting the turtles? Turtles all the way down. The day is calm. The scouting mission has discovered nothing dangerous. Cinderella! Having outdistanced her companions, Cinderella sits to rest. Does she sleep? Dream? Is it a vision? A metaphor? Or does a tortoise truly come and speak to her? Oh, I can't wait to see what animal she picks. She has seen somewhere before the patterns that swirl upon its shell. Of course you have. The pattern is everywhere. In the wind, in the stars, in the sea, in the storm, in the fire and the fern. We have always been here. We. We hold up the earth and the sky and the storm. We protect the fern and the water and the wheat. You should understand that. You protect others also. You're one of us. Can't you feel it? Yeh. Yeah. Are you sure I'm the one you want? Your choices throughout your lifetime have fitted you for this task. You were not born a guardian, but you have molded yourself into one, moment by moment, day by day. You are worthy to join the fellowship I speak for. Do you accept? Yes, absolutely. What happens now? While you live? Nothing. Continue as you have been. After your death, we will discuss this matter further. Do I become a tortoise? The precise form is open for negotiation. That almost makes it sound as though you guardians are... all around. Throughout the world. Everywhere. It does, doesn't it? Be well, Cinderella. We will speak again one day. Hey, Cinderella, you been napping on the job? No, I... Did you see a... That's a pretty cool tortoise shell pendant. Did you just find it here? I... Yeah, I just found it here. As it's health. And thank goodness she's got an empty slot. Let's give her some higher block. I love that thing. Okay. So they did that. Let's go ahead and have them scout out the trip woods here. Um, I've realized that I forgot to set my timer to make sure that I was keeping this to a half hour segment. I genuinely do not know how long it's been. Just missed that. So I'm just gonna assault this. I'm going to dig out that pass and next time we'll deal with that incursion. So, um, I don't know if this one's gonna be a little short or a little long. I've my mistake. I do not keep track of time well in these things. By hoof and horn. This is the densest forest I've ever seen. How old is this place, I wonder? The trees are so thick even the noonday sun can't reach the ground. We haven't seen a single living thing, but I can't shake the feeling that we're being what- Shh! I see someone. Hide. Oh, he looks sad. <laughs> he looks sad. Maybe he's lost. Uh, and she just comes out and, hello, are you lost? <laughs> Furtis. Sorry, sorry, you scared the life nearly out of me. What are you doing here? We could ask the same of you. We're hunting the horned monsters that live here. I, I suppose we are here for the same thing, then. You came by yourself to kill these vermin? They're not vermin! Or, they weren't always this way. They were people once, and one of them... One of them was once my wife. Evil sorcery stole your wife away? Not sorcery, just words. Evil, slippery words. Disgusting promises of power and taunts of hidden treasures beneath the earth. But she's too far gone now, my wife. The last time I saw her, all that was left in her eyes was some primal rage that terrified me. The person I knew is gone. I wish I'd had the strength to strike her down there and then, but I couldn't. I am here to end this. 
before she can hurt anyone else. So we can join this, or we can say, let us handle this. Either way, I think it's gonna be okay. Let's go join us. Thank you for your offer. Truly, I was not sure how I was going to manage this on my own. Let's go. Deepest. Oh, stone spirit. Oh, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Ah. I need to figure out if there's any I'm missing with stone that I have here. Um. Mace, axe, hammer, great sword. No. Wand. I don't have anybody with a wand here. Oh, well. Oh, I don't have a sword either. I don't think I. Wait. Does she have a sword? She's got a sword! Excuse me, I'm gonna get a stone sword real quick. Uh, first, though, I need to open a door. Oh, look, problems. Unfortunately, I can't get them both. get to it. It'll be my turn for Cinderella, but uh, I can get the stone sword. Look at him. Wind flash. All right. Let's take it. Okay. Honestly, I'm going to interfuse with this, and I am just going to fire leash it on over to that. Here he goes. Beautiful. Alright, that handles that room, and there's gonna be more inside, so let's just go ahead and run up here. Let's, uh, let's everybody go up here. I don't know which door they're going to pop out of. So we're just gonna guard and move. We'll find out! Okay, everybody. Open the door. And uh, you just real quick open the door. Oh, hello there. Alright. Fire leash is not going to help because it can't get far enough. So we're just going to have to interfuse with something else. Oh, look, I can steal more fire. Ah, there's another one. Nice. These are not going to survive. Oh, he dodged it, but that's okay. He'll die at the start of his next turn. There, there's no way. Okay, I don't think I can cone and fire both of them at once. Ooh, there's more. Um, okay, I'll just go ahead and... Yep. That'll take care of that one. 85%, but I think it'll be better if I move up here. Ah, oh, there's so many. As long as they clump together in a nice little line, I'll be able to fire them, so... um. Musty, you're gonna be fine, right? You're absolutely gonna be fine. He dodged it. He's fine. He's dead. Alright. Two horn children. Blocked due to untouchable. Eh, Furtis isn't happy. That's okay. That's okay. Just kind of... Nice. Nice. Shred us some armor. And hit him again. Because attacks only take one action for Cinderella now. Just club him over the head with your nice temp HP from the leaf staff. And done! Not that I needed temp HP, apparently. Okay. Got some link mail. Um, it's worse than the night mail I have on them, so we're gonna salvage it. Okay. By hoof and horn, that's the last of them. Aye. Hmm. That villager is still here. The deepest have been dealt with. Yes. Thank you. What will you do now? I don't know. There's nothing left for me in my village. I, I just can't go back to that life knowing these creatures are out here. Let me come with you. I can be useful in a fight. I won't slow you down. Oh. I can spend two legacy points and have Furtis join us. I mean, I'll take the extra manpower, honestly. 
I'll, I'll spend the legacy points on it. Curtis, come on in. So welcome to the Grimwalkers. Okay. Excellent. So, pretty sure that's going to be it. I will just set them to working on this uh, long enough for the pass. Alright, passageway open, five days until incursion. I'm gonna have to figure out where to defend for that once I see where it's going. I wouldn't be surprised if it's straight across. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll do that in the next one. Thanks, and till later. <laughs>